Big story on Action News is the federal charges filed today against Philadelphia Councilman Kenyatta Johnson. Prosecutors say he and his wife took part in a pay to play scheme and then conspired to cover it all up. Action News reporter Gray Hall live now in South Philadelphia with the latest on all this still developing right now. Gray. Absolutely right, Brian and Jeanette. We can tell you the councilman holding a press conference right now to address those charges. He maintains that he is innocent and will fight the charges. However, federal prosecutors disagree and they say he was involved in corruption and abuse of power. Philadelphia City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson is facing some serious legal troubles. Federal prosecutors accuse him and his wife, Don Chavue, with two counts of fraud. Authorities say they were involved in a pay for play scheme with a local nonprofit called Universal Community Homes. Defendant Kenyatta Johnson is the Philadelphia City Councilman for the Second District. He is charged in this indictment with two counts of honest services wire fraud arising from the allegation that he performed official actions in exchange for corrupt payments. Investigators say two top leaders at that nonprofit are also involved in this alleged scheme and face a long list of charges, including racketeering, bribery, and other offenses. Prosecutors allege the councilman abused his power in exchange for payments. They say his wife worked as a consultant with the nonprofit and payments to her were used to illegally pay her husband. Those in Johnson's district were stunned by the news. We do a lot of things for the community in a lot of other areas and everything, and this is shocking. Prosecutors focus on the couple's dealings with Universal and its efforts to rehab the Royal Theater along South Street. They say the company sought Johnson's assistance in pushing a rezoning bill through council to benefit them. Authorities say Johnson's wife was paid $66,000 by Universal and say that last check came the same month Johnson secured the zoning. Councilman Johnson is also accused of halting the development of this property along Bainbridge Street in favor of the nonprofit. Johnson never disclosed this to the city, nor did he make any effort to recuse himself from the Universal matters, despite the fact that his wife was on Universal's payroll. In a statement, Mayor Jim Kenney said he was deeply disappointed and said, with regards to Council Member Johnson, it's extremely important that elected officials diligently guard the public's trust and not leave the public with the sense that they are working for private gain. All right, so back out live again. The councilman maintaining that he is innocent. We can report that both he and his wife expected to turn themselves in to federal authorities on Friday.